Hello everyone! Welcome to this new video on printing SSRSRDL reports in ASP.NET Core with the Report Writer and PrintJS in Visual Studio Code. The Bold Reports Report Writer is a reporting tool that lets users export reports defined in RDL format as PDF, Word, Excel, or CSV documents without viewing them. This reporting tool can be integrated with the PrintJS library to print the generated PDF files. In this video, I'll start by creating a new ASP.NET Core project and add the Report Writer tool to it. I have already installed the .NET 7.0 SDK in my machine. First, I need to create a new ASP.NET Core application. In the command prompt, I run this command and the ASP.NET Core web application will be created. Here, Core Report Writer is the application's name. Once the application is created, I need to install the boldreports.net.core NuGet package to use the Bold Reports Report Writer library in the project. So, I move to the application root folder. Then, I run this command to add the boldreports.net.core NuGet package to the application. Next, I need to install PrintJS in my ASP.NET Core project to use the PrintJS related APIs. I run the npm command to install the PrintJS in my ASP.NET Core project. Next, I create a resources folder in the www root folder of my application to store the RDL reports. For this video, I'm going to add the sales order detail.rdl file to the resources folder. You will find the sales order detail.rdl files downloadable link in this video's description. Next, create a controller action that generates RDL reports in the PDF format. I open the home controller.cs file from the controllers folder and add the necessary using statements to import the necessary namespaces that provide classes and functionality required for the controller action. I use the hosting environment interface by importing the Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.hosting namespace and injecting iHosting environment through dependency injection. Now, create a function named PrintPDF. Then create a variable named report path in that function and assign the path value that has the report. This file path is created by combining the root path of the web application with the relative path to the report file. Next, create an instance for the file stream using the report path. Then, create the memory stream to copy the value from the file stream to use it in the report writer. This copy process will help avoid file access problems in the server while running the application. Then create a new instance of the report writer class. I load the RDL report into the writer object. The report stream parameter is a stream object that contains the RDL report file. I then add the code that creates a new memory stream object. This object will be used to store the generated PDF file. I specify the format of the output file in which I will save the report. Then set the position of the memory stream to beginning so that it could be read from the start. Next, add the code that returns the generated PDF file as a response object. The memory stream dot to array method converts the memory stream object to an array of bytes. The application slash PDF parameter specifies the MIME type of the file. The sales order detail dot PDF parameter specifies the name of the file. Now, a PDF file is generated. Next, 
I have to pass it to client side. Before that, copy the print.js file from the node module slash printjs slash this folder and paste it into the www root slash js folder within my application. See, the print.js file is now available in my application. I can utilize the printjs method to print the server side file object as a PDF file. Now, let me move on to implement the client side API to print the generated PDF file. I open the index.cshtml file from the view slash home folder, add a script section, and add the print.js location path in the index.cshtml page. Next, add the code for creating a button which when clicked will print the PDF file. Then, call the printpdf function to retrieve the file and provide the file object to the printjs function in order to store it as a PDF. Now, everything is ready to print the PDF document. I open the command prompt and run this command. Then, copy this URL and run it in a browser. See the print test SRSRDL report button here. When I click the button, the print page automatically opens, printing the SSRSRDL report file. In this video, I have shown you the steps to print SSRSRDL reports in ASP.NET Core with the report writer and PrintJS in Visual Studio Code. I have provided a blog link in the description below for the steps followed in this video. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.